On today's episode of Watch Jerigo, I'm at the lake and I might have the most exciting boat you've ever seen on YouTube. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jerigo and today I am here with my new boat, my 1977 Spectra jet boat. Now, when you guys think of a jet boat, this is probably what you're thinking about normally. Those small boats that sit three feet above the water, two feet above the water. I mean, that thing, it might only be, yeah, it's probably three foot tall if you count all the way to the very bottom of this thing, all the way to the top of the fiberglass there. It is awesome looking. It looks like, you know, a silhouette just darting across the water. And this is, it's truly a classic jet boat setup. So we've got the root beer on cream with tons and tons of flake in the fiberglass. Take a look at that, all that gold and silver flake in the brown there. It looks really cool, especially if you put a, you know, a bigger boat behind it. You're like, wow, that thing is tiny. I have never even been in a jet boat like this and I had to go buy one because it was a good deal. So this was an auction on Facebook with uh, I think $100 bid increments. It might have been $1 or something like that. And I was sitting there bidding it up and bidding it up and just waiting to the point where I could finally bring this thing home and go enjoy a jet boat out on the lake. So eventually I, I kept bidding it up. As soon as anyone else would bid, I would bid and then I said like, what's this ending for? Can I just pay it? And it, it worked out. Uh, the guy had a number in mind. I paid the entire number and it turned out to be the highest bid in the auction too. But you know, he got what he wanted. I got what I wanted, a jet boat. And this thing has a new freshly rebuilt 454 big block in it. So it's probably going to scream. Now I've never even heard it run. Uh, we didn't start it in its driveway because you have to like open the hatch, hook a water hose up to it. You know, it doesn't have the muffs or anything like that. It's actually a bit of work to get it going. And then you're not supposed to run it without water in the pump. So the reality is if you want to run one of these things, it needs to be in the water or in a test tank. So here we are at the lake to test it out for the first time. And we've got a lot of cool stuff coming with this. In fact, uh, someone else with a jet boat is on their way right now. But first, let's go around and take a tour of this thing. And then we're going to go get it in the water and hopefully go almost 70 mile an hour. I really hope we can do it. It's still early in the morning. And if we end up on the lake a little bit later in the day, we'll find a cove. But we're, we're going to need perfectly smooth water for this thing to rip. So starting right here on the side, we have dual fuel tanks. We've got the cool fill set up there, fill cap that pops open with the spring and the seal and all that cool stuff. So it's like filling up a race car when you have to put gas in it. And there's one on that side too. And I think there's 15 gallons in each side of the boat. So 30 gallons of fuel. And he says it'll last a whole weekend on that. Coming around the back here, we have this huge Berkeley pump and I'm told this is a really, really good jet boat pump. We've got the reverser nozzle right here. This is your shift cable. It's just linked directly to that lever right there. And when you push forward, it's uh, forward wide open. And when you pull back, you can kind of get a neutral, even though he said the neutral's not great. And uh, you can also put it in reverse. So you got a little rudder underneath that. Here's your exhaust. We've got some captain's calls that you cannot close remotely like every other boat now. So it is just, loud all the time you get no options there and here we have a hydraulic trim and apparently we can trim this thing out to shoot a huge rooster tail while we are ripping across the lake here so uh, that is most of the back of it underneath here is just uh, some storage up in the front you can see there's a little hole under there with some bumpers anchors life jackets all that fun stuff you can shove it all all the way up in the front uh, the gas pedal is pretty cool. You can see that big Spectra pedal there, kind of like the old uh, hippie pedal in a doom buggy or something like that. Then we have some very, very, very simple instruments on the dash. We've got attack, an amp meter, oil pressure, and temp. Over here, uh, it should be like ignition, lights. Um, one of those is the bilge pump and one of those, probably the horn or something, because I do think you have to have a horn. And then over there beside our pump diverter, we've got uh, the hydraulic trim, that one little switch. So that's all there is to the jet boat for creature comforts. It's got seating for five, really kind of four. 
or as the ad said when I bought it, one guy and four girls. Now the ad also said that you've never seen anyone on a jet boat without a smile on their face, so I'm hoping that's true today and this thing just gets out on the water and rips. So we're gonna unpin the hood here and I'll show you guys the goods. So there's a spring strut right there that holds the hatch open and that's all you have to do to open it up. We've got our good old O'Reilly's battery, my go-to right there. Some big, what are these? Harman Marine uh, exhausts and of course our freshly built big block that's studded, huge fuel pump, quick fuel 750 carb, uh, spark arrestor on there, HEI ignition, and I'd say that's most of it right there. There's really not much else to this. An engine hooked directly up to a pump. This thing's 9.5 to one compression. We've got a catch can right there, and here's our hydraulic pump for the trim. And there's our blower motor, which originally was connected to that duct and connected to there, but we're just gonna leave that alone because in reality, uh, it can draw air from all over the place. So really, that is it. That is a 1977 Spectra jet boat, and we are ready to go get this thing out on the water and take it for a first rip. Well, we're here with another jet boat, one you guys may have seen before. And uh, this guy, he's got a couple boats. They've been out ripping. They got it fixed, right? Yeah, kind of. Second maiden voyage. Second maiden voyage. First maiden voyage. And uh, Weston already took all the, he did all the odds and all that fun stuff. So somebody will probably make it back. <laughs> and if nothing else, we've got an extra boat to help pull us back. Well, and also mine says Titanic on the side. I The first thing I said was, I hope you don't sink this, sink this Titanic. Yeah. Don't, don't sink. In the arm. Wait, so what's the song? I don't actually know. No, no, that's that's the that's the that's the, the puppies that show up on yeah. TV like doing. All right, good sir, send me in. Ready? If I see a bunch of bubbles, I'm not pulling you out. Yeah. I put the plug in. Well, I'm in the water. First plug, start. Yeah, but you're close. Let's uh. Oh, this water's warm. I think the engine's in. All right, yeah. hold, Eric. I already hit the blower, so on, one, two, three, four. That thing runs! Dude, <laughs> that's way too easy. Why would you have to do that? You're gonna upstage me. Mine's not gonna work like that. So I know I don't have a real neutral here. He said be careful. That's all I know. It is hot. I'm excited though. Okay. That should be reverse. I don't know how this machine works. Check this thing out, guys. So far, so far, she is floating. We're sitting in the water. I opened the hatch. It's not taking on. Not a lot of water, at least. I mean, there's some water back there. There always was. So I'm assuming that it will sit there with a little bit of water down in the hole. But we do have a bilge pump, so that's also a bonus. I really kind of want to point this thing out on Main Lake and have some fun. but we've got good oil pressure. It shows it's charging. Apparently, I think he did tell me the temp gauge is broken. It shows 240, but I think it showed that as soon as the key went on, actually. I looked down right after the start up and it said 240. But we're almost out of the no weight zone and I can get on it for the first time for you guys. And I am just pumped to hear this thing sing. Play you the song of my people right here. A big block. It sounds awesome. I mean, honestly, the, all we need is the engine with this. All we're here for is the sound. This is not the boat for a huge lake like this. It simply is not. Even, we always tell people not to bring their 21s. It's too small. Uh, you need like a 28 or a 30 to be out here. And there's already, I mean, look at these rollers. This boat is not made to go over stuff like that. But, as soon as they clear, which I guess they're not going to, we can make a full throttle pull. Ooh, it is bouncy. Sick. 
see Weston's jet boat way off in the distance, so they should be heading this way any second now. And hopefully we're gonna get this race going and maybe this thing has a chance. Look, at the end of the day, they probably have more horsepower. Those new sea dews are fast, fast, fast. I mean, 300 horsepower with the supercharger. And this thing's just an old carbureted, naturally aspirated 454. But with a good hull design, I think, it steps up, I mean, as soon as I floor it, it comes up on its step there. So, I got a chance, maybe. Old versus new, guys. Who's gonna win? Let me know in the comments below. I just, this thing's just fun. It's got a foot throttle. Only boat I've ever been in with a foot throttle. Way out there in the distance, you can see the jet boat coming straight on right towards us. This is about as close as you can get to standing on the water, too. The hole must be six inches out of the water. It feels like I'm just level with it. Anyway, the crew is catching up here. I just wanted to bask in the views of <laughs> It's so cool. <laughs> the crew has arrived, as you guys can see behind me. Everybody's here. We got our life jacket situation all figured out, too. I had one, but it was the wrong size, so I wanted a medium. And they're getting everyone else outfitted. I'm ready to make a pull. Let's go. We just did a quick drag race and it beat the supercharged jet ski boat. I'm kind of impressed, guys. I'm impressed. And it's kind of quiet. If it's completely idling, it's kind of quiet. This thing is a dumb fun. I can't tell you how much fun it is. The crew's back there. I think we're gonna head to a cove where it's a little bit smoother and maybe we can get some full pulls. I wanna get the GPS on this thing and see it go 70 mile an hour. That's, that's the dream. Well, the dream's 150 mile an hour, the only acceptable speed on a boat, but I will take this for now because it was pretty cheap and it is very fun. Well, we've got one good looking redneck yacht club, if I may say so myself here. We got the, the boat to hold all the water and life jackets and everything yes, shoot. and two jet boats. So far, the maiden voyage has been a success. My life jacket was trying to like jump back and escape from the boat. So I had to throw it on. Honestly, the best place to keep it if you don't want it flying off you. And these things do feel wildly unsafe being a <laughs> two foot off the water. Weston's right over there. And it looks like everything's running pretty well so far. We finally got the trip figured out for the rooster tail. Check this out. Woo! We pulled out the GPS speedo. Wade saw 51 on there, which is not enough not enough but also we still I don't know how to trim the thing out yet so I'm kind of just feeling it out we're just trying different settings but it, apparently you need a lot of experimentation to really get that top speed going and it's not it's not glass yeah it's just okay out so if we could get perfect water wide open throttle for three miles it's, it's like top speed in a Corvette when you try to get to 200 you better have a big old stretch
We made full pulls across the lake. This thing was doing amazing. And then suddenly I let off the gas and it died. Best ride ever into nothing. But not only that, Weston, oh, oh, he's running again. It looked like he just died too. So we're gonna find out here in a minute. I think we might both be out of gas or struggling for gas. I don't know. The temp gauge is definitely broken, so it does have that going for it. I bought a cheap jet boat. I mean, relatively cheap. It's, it's honestly pre-sold for more than I paid. So I, you know, I would call it cheap. And now there's a good chance that I might keep, like, what am I supposed to do? This boat's amazing. How cool is it to go across the lake with a 50, 75 foot rooster tail behind you? I mean, it looks incredible. So, I mean, I am, I am about this boat. It's an absolute blast. The only thing was that little hiccup where it shut off after our full throttle blast across the lake for a long time. I thought it was out of gas, but luckily you could look in the tank, looked over, plenty of gas. I waited 30 seconds, started it back up, and it was perfect again, started every time. So my thought is, uh, as I slowed down, I might've slowed down too quick and got a little bit of water that came back towards the exhaust. It's got flaps on it, of course, but it turns out you probably shouldn't uh, just dump all the throttle out of it real quick. I was being careful, trying to make sure water wasn't coming back over the pump, over the back of the boat, but I think that might be what happened. It was fine though, so runs perfect. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head over to shopwatchchairgo.com for cool shirts just like this. I mean, I might have to make a jet boat shirt. I might have to keep this jet boat because it's amazing. That's all I know. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time.